Uh, you play Karen Wheeler, Nancy and Mike's mom. When you went back to set, how did the vibe change? You know, this time it's like everyone knows there's a hit here versus the first time around, it's like who knows what this is gonna be. I think everyone was just, uh, nothing was really different per se. I think we were just really excited and grateful that people loved the show so much because we loved working on it in the first season. and. Uh, there was just more of a, a giddiness that, hey, we did yeah. a show and you liked it and you tuned in and that's really it's about it. Yeah. Well, we different. love it here. The show was recently nominated for 18 Emmys, so congratulations. No big deal. Thanks. Where, where right? were you and how did you react to the news? Well, I wake up early because I have a four-year-old who's never slept past 5 a.m. <laughs> so oh, I was, my and, But I was in New York, so I was like, I was wait, I knew that they were coming out because I grew up so early, so I was there watching them as they were announced. Um, I was super excited, but no one else was awake, so I think I texted everyone first. You were the bearer like, of the news for the cast? Kara was the first person to tell <laughs> us because I was the one who was awake. We gotta get that kid to sleep longer, my yeah. goodness. Now you two seem to have bonded on set with your movie and your good friends. Will your husband be okay if you take John to the Emmys? It, it just makes sense. Please. <laughs> <laughs> will your girl be okay if I she take you to the Emmys? She will be fine. And I live in California, so we're gonna save a couple hundred dollars. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Airfare saving already. When it happens, you heard it here first, everybody. We are the, the arrangers of that. Last question about Stranger Things. Uh, we had all the kids in studio last year and just had such a great time with them, including Millie Bobby Brown, who's sort of become this it girl of the moment. Kara, how have you seen her take on the, sort of this evolution in the industry? She hasn't changed. She is just, she's, a, she's so vibrant and she's so mature and I love her to death. I just think she's one of the most intelligent, lovely young women. It really has not changed her. She's just herself, but now more of the world knows who she yeah. is. That's amazing to hear. Now, yeah. John, we have to ask, would you be on board to hop into the Stranger Things world if asked? Were you a big fan? Yes, yes. I. That's right up my alley. I mean, I'm, I, I, I probably was a teenager at the same time these kids were teenagers in a weird <laughs> way, even though I was a little bit older. Uh, I am, yeah. I, I just... I love it. I love Matt. I'm a big fan of Matthew Modine from his first movies and, and Crazy Winona Ryder. What's going on with her? <laughs> <laughs> in, that, in that show, unbelievable. Uh, John, last thing. You know, I, I have to ask, I did before last time you were here about the old Sex in the City thing. Look, we know that Aiden and Carrie were never going to get together. If there were to be another Sex and the City movie, where would you like to see Aiden go? If, if, if that were to happen and you could just forecast it yourself? It's happening. Okay. It's happening already. A, uh, it's a spin-off. There's three, there's three sequels, and uh, it's going to be Aiden and Big are going to go on the road and do a buddy movie. For the first two movies, the girls are going to make a cameo in the third one. I'm writing it right now. Uh, Is this true at all? Come oh on, my God. because I'm over here like, please be true. Yeah, and we're all and, kind of gullible. And, and, yes. You love to see an Aiden Big Road Buddy movie, I, heist movie. I think the fact that that seems so likely and believable yeah, is the reason I, it should actually happen. Oh, what do you think see, so? I'd go see that it's movie. It's cool, yeah, though. That's funny. <laughs> Get the heist movie going, guys. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping by. And there you have it. Go see All Saints in theaters nationwide on August 25th. Great to talk to you. Thank you.